So, is it all true? What have you heard already? That illness. It thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madame Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. Say goodbye, party first from my end.
Feels like it's gonna rain again. Reach the residence of Dr. Felton. So first gameplay after that, a really cool intro. I don't think... Well, I actually don't know much about the game. So if there are collectibles... Let's look around, but there doesn't seem to be any anything that's interactable. So I guess I'll go over here. Uh, gate. Let's continue a little bit. I want to explore, see what's going on. Relax, okay. I shouldn't be sprinting too much because I'll get into this. What should we call this? Sort of paranoia state? Oh, there are collectibles. Sweet. Cut here. Cut there. Sears. On screen, October 31st, 1971. That's a clock tower reference. I don't mind if they make a clock tower movie. Okay, so we kind of have to explore and watch out. Shows like this little dot though, so... You can kind of see what's interactable and what's not from... Let's see... Uh, a decent distance. Okay, let's see if we can get this gate open. No. There's the missing posters. Missing since Thursday, October 14th, 1971. Last seen, 4 p.m. at the recreation ground in... Unbreedable. Date of birth, February 8th, 1958. Female, white, 13 years of age. Light blonde hair and blue eyes. At last, unreadable, wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes and dressed hair. Any information are requested to call unreadable number. Celeste Felton. I already want to run more, but if it slows me down, that's annoying. So let's change it every time a little bit. Walking and running. I always feel anxious when looking at some icons. Icons and mirrors. Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Thank you. We can just get in anyway. Reach the residence of Dr. Felton, complete it. New objective, get inside the mansion and meet Dr. Felton. Some nice statues. Nothing here at first sight. There's a book, but I can't read it. 
That's the gate we were in front of. Let's take the stairs. There's a door. Hello? The gate was open. Are you there? Hello? Is anyone there? No luck here. I guess we go back. There's nothing interactable. I wish a dog was interactable. It doesn't shut up. I think it's the neighbor's dog behind this wall. Yeah, it sounds really close now. These people have a damn good gardener. Let's see what happens if I run too much. Okay, I kind of stop because this is interactable. The statue. Definitely anguishing. That's all. Okay, let's continue. Good evening, Miss I am... Reed, you already told me at the intercom. And as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Center of the I Institute. Know. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents... I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. Oh, no, please. I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Achievement unlocked. The arrival. So the interesting part is, he hates the smell of smoke, but there were already two cigarettes in there. So either she smokes or there is another visitor. Please, this way. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. 
I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh, no. From midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. So she's not the smoker. Maybe I'm thinking too far, but I hope not that it would make sense somewhere. This way, please. Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. Okay. Seems we can explore a bit before he arrives. What do we have in here? Another chessboard, that's a second one. He must really be into it. Those are some creepy paintings. Each their taste, but uh, yeah. I cannot do it now, so I press the sprint button and I can't use it. Uh -huh, I can check this painting or poster, whatever it is. Notary, patron, entrepreneur and even entomologist with a green thumb. Something else I can check out. I can check out the desk. Can't check out the painting. I think that's it. The desk is the next step. I need to get to the other side. New collectible unlocked. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm, Rosso Gallo, closes. Danger of contamination. Wyman and the Feltons indicted for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October 2nd, 1971. The Rosso Gallo farm, Pride of the Gallows, closed due to suspected contamination. It has been reported that many products have been affected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Gallo, Top right, her husband, the notary Richard Felton, bottom right, professor and company's partner Albert Elias Wyman, large picture, are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from the residents at the company's headquarters, the Ashmans who managed the building and supervised the harvesters, the sisters of the adjoining convent. Among the reported symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation, no, proliferation of parasites and, in some cases, keratosis photosensitivity. Following the heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman stated he was shocked by the charges and pointed his finger to his former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It is worth noticing that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxyl Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious Medicine Award in 1957. 
but that was retired from the market a few years later due to the disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's house, which was used as a location for product distribution, the activities ceases. As a result of the scandal, the Ashmans and Feltons also broke off any kind of relationship. As a matter of fact, the Ashmans claimed a substantial refund for the damage they suffered because even their children have been infected and, as a consequence, used as unaware test subjects. The authorities assume that the contamination has developed from the groundwater, not only used for the irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. There's another side. You damn son of a bitch! See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he would be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show you've got balls. Take your own responsibilities. What am I saying? Balls. You never got balls. It's a long text. believe in God, miss? Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter. That's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But, pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please, sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So, you already met Gloria? Yes, she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria. Yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No. Thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates... Anoxal? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs Without any prescription. Uh, I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. They never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No. My Mr. Daughter. Felton, 
What has really happened to you, daughter? I just told you. How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate- I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question! The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Do you... do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening toe? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter! Good evening. Follow me. You know the way. How do you even... How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Look for mirrors with the metronome. From now on, you can save your game only by using those. Get inside the mansion and meet Dr. Felton completed. Investigate on the disappearance of Celeste. Oh, now there's a lot to interact with. Identify the source of the tune. Meet Mrs. Felton. I'm not sure if I want that, but okay. Nothing in this one. A picture. December uh, 68. Happily together. Oh, she actually puts it back. We don't take it with us.
What is that? Shaking it? I picked up a diversion item. We'll see what that does later on, I guess. Another one? A weapon? A defense item. Some books we are not interested in. This is a power generator. Better not to turn off the lights. That's a very wise decision. A hiding place. Interesting. You can zoom. I'm expecting a hiding place jump scares. Towel. Oh, another defense item. Can I run or does it make too much sound? I can. Picked up a diversion. How many of these can I take with me? I got a purse, so that's a good thing. So already, cast your votes. When I meet the mother, will the electricity go out and do I have to fix it downstairs? Can I open this door? This door seems closed from the other side. There doesn't seem to be anything in it, but let's be sure. Oh, oh there we go. Ah, so I guess it's full now, because I picked up another one. I'll prefer the snow globe over the teacup, thank you. We have to go upstairs, but I'm going to check over here. Oh, we can go downstairs as well. A hiding spot? Keep it open a bit. I see. I'm out of breath from doing that. That's interesting to know. So I didn't sprint, but just because I went in a hiding spot, I was out of breath. So now I have scissors and a snow globe. There are a lot of items you can use. Yeah, I don't think there's much else to find. Always use offensive items or not. Here we got a painting. Who are they? Maybe some Dr. Felton's distant relatives? I have to check in case of documents or collectibles. It doesn't seem to be in there. Maybe I need something to use this. And this door seems closed from the other side. Let's go upstairs and turn off that record. No, I'm not gonna use the elevator. That would be a dumb decision. They can't know I'm inside.
but my pillow in me. Oh, I didn't repeat. Thought I could sit on the chair for a moment. Nothing of interest. Seems that she's behind this wall. Is there a door here? Wait. Oh no. I thought someone was sitting in a chair over there, but that's just a lamp on a table. Okay, I guess this is where we need to be. in the bed but what happened my dear the record player got jammed again right yes I know you you keep on telling me we need to buy the new gadgets on the market Promise, promise, promise. How can I say no to you? Now get some rest, love. My little Jennifer. Jennifer? Do I want to get out? I heard the door open, but not close, or he closed an open door. At least we know that the daughter isn't Jennifer, but he calls his wife Jennifer. Now let's go out. Try to escape from the mansion. I like how you said try. Like it's impossible. Though I do not want a creepy doll. This is messed up. Let me check out this picture. Mr. and Mrs. Felton in their happiest day of their life. They both smile, they look happy. But Richard's pale eyes are making me feel uneasy. Wait again? What's wrong? It's a bit.
big clock to take with me. Hey, what's this? Can I crouch? A flashlight? I can crouch, but I can't get through there. Let me check the other door first. What is this? This must be Dr. Felton's gown. You've picked up the ground floor corridor key. Okay, nice. And I need something for this as well. I don't think it matters too much what I pick. Is this the picture? No, it's an item. Evil within, hello. So our next step is that we go downstairs and try to escape the mansion. I'm gonna do that in the next video, or I will at least attempt it, and I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the start of Remothered, and you will be there for part 2.